Okay, this tutorial is on ionic radius, and uh, I'll do a couple examples at the end, towards the end. All right, so a cation radius, so this is when we lose an electron, is smaller than the regular atom's atomic radius. Uh, the reason is because you lose electrons, so you actually end up losing a whole shell sometimes. And so, like, the next closest shell is actually a whole energy level closer, so the radius gets a lot smaller. Um, the other reason is you actually gain a uh, plus one charge on the on the cation, which will attract the electrons even more okay, than its regular atom counterpart. So here we have a uh, regular lithium. So it's, so it's just a regular lithium atom. And it um, after it loses this electron, so this electron goes away, um, then you actually lose this entire shell. Okay, so that actually goes away. And so as you see, the radius got a lot sh a lot smaller. Okay, with uh, anion radius, this ends up being a lot bigger than the atomic radius. And the reason here is because you gain electrons, and the electrons result in more shielding or repulsive uh, repulsion, repulsive effect. Okay, and here we have a picture of fluorine and uh, and flu regular fluorine here with uh, nine electrons and nine protons. Okay, and if you add an electron, then it has now has ten electrons. So we see the cloud. So the extra electrons, this one actually, and uh, so we see the cloud gets puffier. The electrons. Okay, so it adds more repulsion. These little dotted lines are repulsive effects. Okay, and so the cloud got puffier, electron cloud. Okay, so ionic sizes. So let's look at a couple examples. So there, here's a, a, a term. It's called isoelectronic when ions have the same number of electrons. So, for example... Um, so, for example, uh, fluorine, neon, and sodium are all isoelectronic, Flor a fluoride ion, that is. So, fluoride ion, this has 10 electrons. A neon atom has 10 electrons. And sodium, with a plus 1, also has 10 electrons. So, this is called isoelectronic, when you have different atoms different elements, but they have the same number of electrons. Okay, so if several ions, so if you're trying to compare several ions that are isoelectronic, um, then you have different atoms, but the same, and, and the same, uh, say, so if several ions are isoelectronic, um, and you have, you have different atoms, okay, so you have different proton numbers, but, but the same number of electrons, then the following is true. So the more protons you have, the smaller the radius. So, um, for example, that was actually what we had on the previous slide. So, for example, if you have, um, actually, no, it's, this is different than what I had. So if I have calcium with a 2 plus versus uh, chloride ions with a 1 minus, so both of these have um, 18 electrons. 18 electrons, this also has 18 electrons. Okay, then the one with the smaller radius will be the one with more protons. Okay, so the one with more protons then is, so electrons and protons. Calcium has 20 protons, and uh, the chloride ion has 17 protons. So the one with the smaller radius will be calcium. So calcium, in terms of AR, would be smaller than a chloride ion. Okay, so this case can come up. This is like case one, and also this case can come up. So if you're, I have to erase some of this. Okay, so if you have the same atom, which means the same protons and different electrons, then the following is true. So if you have less electrons, you have a smaller radius. Okay, so for the example here is like what we had on the last slide. So if you have lithium, so same protons versus a, uh, uh, lithium cation, then the one with uh, less electrons will have the smaller radius. So you could go rewind a little bit if you want to look at the picture of this. But the 
uh, lithium ion is uh, smaller than the regular lithium atom. Okay, so okay, so here's some examples. I'll do uh, I'll do two examples, and then you guys can do. Um, I'll, I have uh, two extra ones for you guys to try. So, uh, example A. So if I have to arrange these, I have a uh, Cu two plus Cu and then Cu plus one. Okay, my my uh, goal here is to arrange these. Um, is my goal here is to arrange these in order of decreasing size, decreasing radius or size. Okay, um, so right now I have the same atom, so I have the same proton number, so I'm going to apply this bullet point. So uh, the less electrons means the smaller the radius. So the smallest one will be this one, will be the Cu2+, plus, and the biggest one will be the one with, all, with the most electrons. So it will be Cu is bigger than, or I'll just use a comma. So Cu is bigger than Cu plus 1 which is bigger than Cu2+. plus. Okay, I'll put a box around it. Okay, and uh, okay, so let's look at one more example where we apply this bullet point. So let's say I have the following. Let's say I have um, Cl-1, Cu2+. Plus. So I'll give you some that are all, these are all isoelectronic. Uh, Cu2, uh, Ca2 plus, uh, calcium plus one, sulfur two minus, and phosphorus three minus. Okay, so I want to order these by an order of um, big to small. So the biggest one. So let's reread this. So the number, the most protons will have the smallest radius. Okay, so all of these actually have 18 electrons. They all have 18 electrons. Okay, so I'm going to write out their proton numbers, and then and then I'm going to basically apply this right here. Okay, so chlorine has 17 protons. Calcium has 20. Uh, potassium has 19. Sulfur has 16, and phosphorus has 15. And the concept here is uh, if you have less protons, then um, the you have less nuclear charge, nuclear positive charge, which uh, which means that the uh, electrons are held looser. Okay, so the the radius would be uh, more ex expanded looking. Uh, so so uh, okay, let me read reread this again. So the most protons will have the smallest radius. So the biggest radius then would be phosphorus, with a three minus, which is bigger than. Um, let's just use commas, which is bigger than s two minus. Which is bigger than the Cl minus one which is bigger than potassium and this is bigger than the calcium okay so on the next slide I have um, two very similar ones for you guys to try so try these so I did A and B and I'll have you guys try C and D so again arrange these by decreasing size so from big to small so like gorilla dog mouse so uh let's see a couple to couple ones to try so try this one if you have oxygen a oxygen with a minus one and then an oxygen with a minus two and then try this one i minus CS plus one, LA three plus, and a BA two plus. Okay. 
and give that one a give that one a try. Uh, 